What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we are back today with another video. We are going to be following the career of the number one running back recruit in the nation. Now, the reason why you see preseason 2028 here, this is one of my other old dynasties, but I have the recruiting mod enabled and installed on this one and i feel like the crop of recruits we get with this mod is slightly slightly uh, nah let's not even lie it's a lot better than the based uh crop of recruits that we get and so let's go ahead and take a look at who our subject is going to be for today's video so come over here to the number one running back recruit in the nation is going to be eric anderson six foot 199 he's a five star his top three schools are Ohio State, Georgia, and Nebraska. All three of those schools will be able to properly utilize his talents, and I feel like we're going to see some good to actually come out of this one. And hopefully, he's not going to be a bust like our last top prospect, who was a wide receiver. All right, boys, here we are. Officially, it is signing day, and let's see where today's subject signed. You see here, Eric Anderson, not only is he the number one running back in the nation, he's the number one recruit overall, and he goes with UGA over Minnesota and Ohio State. So Nebraska actually ended up dropping out of his top three, and he's going to go to G G UGA from Cedar City, Utah, all the way to Georgia. Let's take a, a look at, at him as a whole now. Doesn't look like we have all the info on him, but supposed to be a B speed, B stamina, B agility, B excel, B break tackle, B spin move, B, B juke, B elusiveness, B carry and B ball carrier vision. Uh, blocking, don't expect him to do much of that. And his catching stats aren't eh. They're in, but they're not They're not too bad. All right, boys, here we are getting our first look at the UGA death chart. And Eric Anderson is going to be a day one starter. 84 overall, 88 speed. Um, he's going to beat out fellow freshman Kawiki Rogers and sophomore Robbie Merrick. Myrick, however you want to say it. So it looks like we're going to get three to four years of solid production out of Eric Anderson. So things are on the up and up, and I feel like we can possibly get a good sim out of this. All right, boys. Season number one, our freshman season is completely in the books. Coming over here, Eric Anderson had a great season. Uh, he's actually split uh, most carries with his quarterback. UGA ran the ball a bunch. 224 yards. 1113 yards five yards of carry seven touchdowns his quarterback had 1100 yards nine touchdowns with 245 carries his longest rush of the season was only 18 so not a lot of big play not a lot of big play ability coming from eric eric anderson even though he's not really that slow he's a balanced back um even let's see even his backup Kawika uh Kawika Rogers had a 69 yard run and even a quarterback had an 84 yard run boys so take a look here UGA goes 93 72 in conference and they're going to be taking on number four 12 and 0 9 and 0 Texas in the SEC championship all right guys so in the SEC championship game UGA got their cheeks clapped by Texas 35 to 7 take a look at Georgia players Eric Anderson, eight carries, 34 yards, only 4.2 yards a carry. Not a good day whatsoever. And not only did they lose their conference title, they're actually going to go ahead and they lose their bowl game too. They were in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, taking on Clemson, and they lose by three. Eric had a great day, though. 25 carries, 119 yards, no touchdowns. It did go to the quarterback, but he definitely made up for his lack thereof in the SEC title game. All right, guys, season two. Sophomore season, Eric Anderson is all the way up to a 90. Now, that's the thing about uh, the uh, the recruiting mod. There's a lot of boom and bust factors with this, and he gets that much better. 89 speed, looking to see what he can do here in his second season. Let's take a look real quick. Final first season stats, 257 carries, 1,266 yards, 5 yards a carry, 90 yards a game, 7 touchdowns. Let's see if he can do the same or exceed that. You know what I mean? And uh, hopefully being played for the Heisman or maybe even a Dope Walker trophy. All right, boys. So the sophomore season is in the books and we do get better. 210 attempts, 1,300 yards, 6 yards to carry, 8 touchdowns. We'd like to see him at double-digit touchdowns. But we have at least one more game left in this season, I would hope. I would assume Georgia is bowl eligible. But... 30 more yards on the dot, almost two yards more per rush, 18 more yards per game, one more touchdown. He actually had a big had big play capabilities. Only three rushes for 20 or more yards, 172 yards after first hit, 27 broken tackles. And through the air, we didn't check this last season, and as you can see, there's for no real reason at all. All right, boys, so UGA didn't have that bad of a season, but it's not what we are accustomed to. Eight and four, six and three in the conference. They weren't in the SEC championship, but they will be playing Michigan here in the Outback Bowl. So let's go ahead and sim this and see if Eric Anderson does anything crazy. Fourteen to ten. So I almost, I'm almost willing to guarantee that it run a lot of, um, a lot of big plays. 
But, oh, Eric Anderson, 26 for 117, a touchdown. He scores in a bowl game this year. So shout out to him making his season just a little bit better. And he definitely has improved. And he won player of the game in this game as well. Let's move on to the junior, to the junior season. And this is going to be the season that's going to tell us if he's going to stay for another year or go to the NFL. All right, boys. So coming into our junior season, Eric Anderson isn't a preseason All-American. He isn't a Heisman hopeful. But he is second team preseason All-SEC. 95 overall. Let's take a look at him real quick, man. We already know what he did. So he ended up with 1,400 yards last season, 60 yards a carry, 100 yards a game. 95 overall, 90 speed, 90, 87 excel, 83 agility, 97 break tackle, 94 carrying, 83 truck, 99 elusiveness. So this dude should have an amazing season. I'm not even going to cap to you. All right, boys, here we are. End of the junior season. Now, as you can see, they don't throw the ball a lot here at UGA. So that means the run game's got to be crazy. I think in this series, UGA ended up running like the triple option or some shit like that. But Eric Anderson splits carries with Myrick, who he's better than. So they're definitely an the option. 198 carries, 1,316 yards, 6.6 .6 yards a carry, 13 touchdowns. Myrick gets 13 touchdowns and 1,500 yards. Myrick, so Myrick went over Kawiki Rogers. He ended up starting over that man. He did because they were both over him. I feel like Eric Anderson was 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 shafted a little bit, man. But three years in, he's going to have over 4,000 yards. You know what I mean? He ran for 446 yards this, this season, a game. 13 touchdowns. He's, gonna, he's bound to get more. 32 was his longest run of the season. 155 yards at the first hit. Only one rush of 20 yards or more. 29 broken tackles. That goes to show you that he's really grinding out these rushes, bro, because... Only one rush of twenty of more than twenty yards, and he had thirteen hundred yards, six point six yards of carry. That's crazy. Now his team, ten and two, best season, best season to date, seven and two in the conference, just outside of the, uh, of the conference championship. Um, when did they lose? Who did they lose to? They lost to Tennessee, who's in the conference championship by three, and then they lost to Oklahoma in the beginning of the season. So that really didn't have an impact on what we have going on. I wonder what his biggest, what his biggest game of the season was. Let's see. 172 yards to start off the season. That's 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 pretty big. Boom. Didn't have a didn't have as big of a game there. BYU, Georgia players. Let's see. Myrick goes for 219. Ah. It looks like Eric Anderson got hurt at some point this season, which makes whatever he had going on just a bit more uh impressive, bro. Cause as you can see here, man, he's not he's not getting any carries. So Myrick was just enjoying being the backup, watching the guy in front of him get hurt. And he he, he took the bull by the horn by the horns and never looked back. And so the first game back for Anderson, 24 attempts, 190. Yards. So, yeah, so Anderson, just the amount, the amount that they run the ball, it just looks like that it, it came to haunt him. 198 the game after that. So, yeah, he was having a hell of a game. If he didn't miss those games, bro, I feel like Anderson would definitely be up there for, let's say, you know, the Heisman. Let's see if he's on the Heisman watch list. He is not. Neither of the of the, of the the UGA running backs are up there, probably because they're taking carries and yards from each other. All right, boys, so look at this. Myrick ends up getting first team all SEC, and Eric Anderson gets second team all SEC. Neither one of them are all American. Americans. So that's actually kind of crazy. Let's take a look to see what happened in this UGA bowl game. All right, boys. So Georgia played Michigan in the bowl game once again, and they actually are going to get the win against them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Uh, let's go see Michigan players. No UGA players. Okay. Eric Anderson, 20 for 130, a touchdown. Myrick had two touchdowns as well. So that little one-two punch was going crazy this season. All right, guys. So here we are. UGA players leaving. Eric Anderson seems to be coming back for his senior season. Bobby Myrick plays his way into being drafted in the second round. So I feel like that's definitely the floor for Eric Anderson as long as he has an amer amazing senior season. I'm not sure how good the team is going to be, but... I feel like him being here, he should definitely be getting the ball a lot. All right, boys, here we are. Senior season. Take a look at the depth chart. Eric Anderson is 99 overall, 91 speed, 90 excel. You know what I mean? You see here, he's gotten better every single year. He even had a less carries last season and found a way to get more yards, and average more yards, and average more yards a game. 14 touchdowns, first season with double-digit touchdowns. I want to see exactly how crazy he can go now that he is the man. Not sure how good the team is going to be, but we need – crazy numbers on this man and we need to see him become a first round draft pick all right boys so for the first time in this sim eric anderson is a top three rusher in the nation 1600 yards his best to date you know what i'm saying behind ward of tennessee and clark of air force um can't wait to see what he did for the rest of this season so 250 carries and he's hurt did he did he get hurt is he hurt currently 
So no bowl game. This may, I was going to turn injuries off, but I wanted to keep it. Eh. But um, this is the second most carries he's had in his in his career. Most yards he's run for 6.4 yards per rush, 146.3 yards a game, 17 touchdowns, 18 was his longest of the season. No 20 yard rushes at all. 131 yards after the after the first hit. 32 broken tackles. Damn, this man can't stay healthy. He probably would have ran for 2K. No BS. Had he stayed healthy this whole entire season. All right, guys. So turf toe. He's going for one week. Hopefully that's not going to go into the postseason. He can play into he can play his bowl game. And it sucks, boys, because take a look here. UGA is in the SEC championship taking on Mizzou. So he will be missing that game, but his team gets the big time win 45-21. Not gonna say they didn't, they didn't need him, but Kawiki Rogers, Kawiko Rogers came through and held it down for his boy during his injury. And UGA has solidified themselves and set their spot in the the BCS National Championship. All right, guys, so the Heisman vote is in. Eric does not win it, and I think it has a lot to do with he was probably injured. I feel like this was the season, but we had five quarterbacks, five out of five quarterbacks, and uh, Cedric Johnson ran away with it, mainly because he threw for almost 3,000, but he ran for 1,000 with 45 tubs. That's insane. All right, guys, so Eric Anderson is going to be probable for his National Championship game, but we're going to jump into it in Super Sim, and I'm going to select Georgia. That way I can make sure that he plays because I want to get the most out of this sim because this is the first time in one of these sims that we had one of our players go to the natty and do this well and i honestly think that he's eventually going to be a number one overall pick not number one overall pick but a first round pick all right boys here we are on the injury report uh turf toe probable he's already playing he said i'm not missing this game in my senior season what about this guy robert robinson he is playing as well they said there's no way in hell we're not going to play in the national championship all right guys so they don't run a triple option but we got to see what it's like to run with Eric Anderson, bro. 99 overall running back, 91 speed. Could we get some blocks? Eh, eh, excuse me. Okay, taking a big hit. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run a couple plays, then we're gonna go to the super sim man. But I want to have some fun. I want to actually see what it, what, who he is, what he does, and how he runs. So they got a, they got a traditional playbook, man. So I was wrong about that. It's just crazy that we had two thousand yard rushers, but you know we 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 figured it out it was because he was hurt and he gets lit up there. Break tackles high, trucking high. I forgot about that. We should have tried to utilize that there. I really just want to score a touchdown with Eric Anderson. You know what I mean? Looks like we got it. Looks like we're gonna have a good, nice, nice running, running uh, lane there. Cut that back. Yes, sir. Spin out of that. Ah, try, baby. So I got a thought. I think when when we do these sims, if our team, if our guys in the national championship or SEC championship, we might play some of that game. Just because, just so we can get it, like, so we can fully understand and get invested and see how that guy plays. You know, I mean, it adds a little bit different, adds a little bit of different uh, mechanic here to these types of sims because I don't think I don't think people do that in their sims, bro. They might jump in and watch people play, but you know, what I mean, let's get in and actually and actually get hands on with some of these some of these uh, recruits as we nearly pick up the first. All right, fourth and two. Coach is risking it for the biscuit early on because he believes in Eric Anderson. Boom! It's gonna be a handoff and. He shouldn't have believed in that damn offensive line. So we're not going to be able to score the touchdown with Eric Anderson like I thought. But let's see how the rest of this game goes. All right, man, let's go quarter by quarter. Nebraska goes down and scores. UGA gets stopped. And, okay, UGA has the ball to start with the second quarter. And Nebraska goes up 14-0. UGA finally gets seven. They get a stop. And Nebraska goes up 21-7 before half. Here we are in halftime. U Nebraska with the ball. UGA get stuffed. I thought they were going to score. Nebraska goes up 28-7. So probably Eric Anderson, with them being down like this, isn't getting a ton of carries. They get 14. They're down 21. They're down 14. But they give up six more, and that's going to be the ball game. So unfortunately, Eric Anderson was not able to win the Natty, but he made it to the Natty, and he was an intricate part of this team that was able to get here. All right, guys, so final game stats. This is, a, this is definitely against what UGA has been this whole season. Quarterback had to throw the ball 42 times. 22 carries for 78 yards for Eric Anderson. They couldn't get anything going on the ground, and Nebraska was just entirely too much for them here today. All right, guys, so players leaving, and there you have it. Eric Anderson is officially, officially rated as a number one, as a round one prospect. His, his backup round two, other guys on the team are due to be drafted as well. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely a plus. I think this is going to be it. We got to sim passes to see if it actually goes through, but I feel like it's, it's inevitable at this point. Final career stats, no individual awards, but he has a 983 carries for 5,800 yards, six yards a carry, 
119 yards a game, 48 total rushing touchdowns, 67 was his longest of his career, 560 yards after the first hit, only four rushes more than 20 yards in four seasons, 122 total broken tackles, but he had zero rushing fumbles, and through the air, nothing really to write home about, he did score two touchdowns through the air in his final season. All right, guys, so the draft results are in, and Eric Anderson does go in the first round of the NFL draft. So the number one overall recruit in his class is a first round draft pick, 99 overall, and he got to play in the national championship, all while battling through injury, while getting better every single season. I think that this recruit was a success. He's not a bust. He was worth every dollar of that scholarship. He was worth every minute of recruiting. And this is what you get when you recruit and this is going to be the end of following the career of the number one overall running back in the nation. Did he live up to your expectations? Would you have liked to see him do a little bit more? Or did he do way better than you initially expected? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's your Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey. <laughs> Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies and it ain't no properly. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.